Hey guys, this is Nick Bratton of Bratton Sports Performance. Today we're going to take you through a hip bridge. Uh, the hip bridge is something that we use within our warm-ups each and every day, but it's also something that we use from a strength training standpoint uh, by adding a load to it, uh, going through hip bridges, um, and, and even single leg hip bridges as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about uh, our setup a little bit and talk about some of the things that we look for, but also some of the things that, that we don't wanna see as we go through this. So Coach Alex is set up here. Uh, we're gonna start out in this supine position lying on our back. We've got our back flat to the floor, our arms out to our side. We're gonna start with our knees bent at just about a 90 degree position. Uh, our feet should be shoulder width apart. And we're gonna start with our toes pulled up, heels in the ground. Now, all of this is just to help ensure that we are activating the proper muscles, that we're activating our glutes, we're not getting too much hamstring within the movement. So we're gonna go through a proper hip bridge first. We're gonna bring our hips up in the air. We make sure to maintain a good neutral spine and that we don't go into too much lumbar extension as we go through it. So we're gonna drop down to that start position again. Now, one of the common things that we tend to see when we go through this that uh, we don't wanna see is, uh, our feet are in different places. So we start out with our feet in a little bit too close. Now, when we do this, it's hard to get into a good hip extended position. We, we, we tend to crowd the body a little bit and we're not able to bring our hips all the way up in the air. And this is one area where either we're not gonna see that full extension or we're gonna have to create some type of lumbar extension in order to get up any higher. Now, the other thing that we tend to see is our feet being too far extended out in front of us. So when we go into a hip bridge from this position, we tend to incorporate too much hamstring uh, as those muscles are trying to stabilize at the knee and the hip joint and create that extension there. The last thing that we see, and this is one of the more common issues that we see, um, and it's something that tends to create some low back flare-ups, is when we go into a hip bridge and we start to see that lumbar extension. Now when we go through this, you're going to see the belly start to come up a little bit, but you're really going to see that, that dip within the low back, and, and that low back is starting to ar arch up off the ground. Again, this tends to happen because we're not using our glutes as much, but we're using our low back in order to get into that extension. So, like I said, we use this for our warm up each and every day, uh, just because as a society we're not using our glutes enough and we don't have proper activation. So when we go through this, we'll start out with a double leg hip bridge. We typically bridge and hold for 10 to 15 seconds before we go through 10 to 15 pulses. Now when we go through these pulses and we're going up and down a number of times, what we're looking for is that each and every time that we come down, we have a little bit of a reset and we make sure we're in the right position. Our feet are staying still. We're keeping that neutral spine as we go through it. For some of our more advanced athletes, we're gonna go through a single leg hip bridge. And at that point, we're just going to extend one leg. The opposite leg stays in that same position. When we go through that bridge, again, we're looking for that neutral spine. We're looking to extend it the entire hip, but we're also looking to make sure that we don't get any type of rotation with the hip, within the hips as we go through it. And again, this is something where we're gonna hold for 10 to 15 seconds before we go through those pulses uh, at the end of that hold. Now again, this is something that we incorporate within our warm-up each and every day, uh, but we also use it for our strength training as well. So, you guys try this at home, uh, see what you think. If, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thanks.